the search for life outside our planet continues. Scientists have said that microbial life could exist within our solar system, saying that microorganisms and extremophiles could exist out in the far reaches of space. One place that's of particular interest is that of Saturn's moon Enceladus. According to NASA's official website, Saturn has 82 moons, 53 moons are confirmed and named, and another 29 moons are awaiting confirmation of discovery and official naming. Not much was known about Enceladus until Voyager 1 did a flyby. After this, the Cassini spacecraft passed nearby and enabled us to study the almost all ocean moon in much more detail. Enceladus may seem insignificant when compared to Saturn's larger moons, such as Titan. Enceladus though is fascinating and has been at the center of a number of theories. Almost completely covered in ice, Enceladus has an enormous ocean underneath that icy crust that is home to some of the most interesting recent scientific discoveries. In late 2019, a team of scientists announced they had found what's described as an organic molecule, thought to be essential for the development and presence of life. Head scientist Dr. Kawaja and his team were analysing data collected from the core of Enceladus. This was collected by the Cassini spacecraft when they found a tiny organic compound that they said would be found deep in the ocean. This compound is found in amino acids that are also found on Earth, and this indicated that this moon of Saturn could be a likely candidate for life. As mentioned, the majority of Enceladus is covered in ice, but has an ocean that lurks just beneath it, sharing certain similarities with Earth's poles. Enceladus's ice sheets release vapor and ice grains through any slight crack in the ice surface, and this is due to hydrothermal activity. The ice grains that are released have been key during this discovery, as that's where the molecule discovered was found. This molecule that's made up of nitrogen and oxygen, released through the cracks of Enceladus's surface is also found on Earth in essentially the same way. Earth's hydrothermal activity causes vents to release similar molecules. Further exploration and research missions are currently in the works in order to try and understand everything we can about this incredible moon. These research missions will hopefully uncover more about Enceladus, as we don't really know the extent of what other essential molecules and signs of life there could be. Scientists have suggested that within its dark oceans, eyeless creatures could exist, relying on senses other than their eyes to navigate. Scientists said that life needs energy, but said that Enceladus is an active moon, having all the right things for life to exist. NASA said the following on their website, Since the ocean in Enceladus supplies the jets, and the jets produce Saturn's earring, to study material in the earring is to study Enceladus's oceans. The earring is mostly made of ice droplets, but among them are peculiar nanograins of silica, which can only be generated where liquid water and rock interact at temperatures over 200 degrees. This, among other evidence, points to hydrothermal vents deep beneath Enceladus's icy shell, not unlike the hydrothermal vents that dot Earth's ocean floor. With its global ocean unique chemistry and internal heat, Enceladus has become a promising lead in our search for worlds where life could exist. End quote. Astrobiologist Dr. Kasherbaum said the following The pressure and temperature differences between the Enceladus ocean floor and the ice cap above must be tremendous. In a dark subterranean world, perhaps like the underground oceans of Enceladus, vision may be totally absent, and eyeless creatures could evolve a perfectly competent and rich communication using sound alone. End quote. Scientist Christine Ray said the following The detection of molecular hydrogen in the plume indicated there is free energy available in the ocean of Enceladus. We compare our free energy estimates to the ecosystems on Earth and determine that overall our values for both aerobic and anaerobic metabolisms meet or exceed minimum requirements. These results indicate that oxygen production and oxidation chemistry 
could contribute to supporting possible life and a diverse microbial community on Enceladus. End quote. Scientists have said that Enceladus is the only confirmed current habitable environment beyond Earth and hope that NASA and other space agencies will investigate this moon further. Technically though, we do have proof of life outside our planet, though this is because of humans. Back in 2019, an Israeli spacecraft tried to land on the lunar surface. However, the mission didn't go to plan, and the spacecraft ended up crash landing into the moon. This mission occurred on the 11th of April back in 2019, and now researchers are saying the lunar surface could be filled with tiny creatures. The original idea was to land a robotic lander that had tardigrades on it. Due to the unfortunate event though, it's not known if these small creatures survived, but scientists have said it's very likely due to how resilient they are. Scientists have called them extremophiles, due to them being able to survive in such harsh conditions, and one of the things that researchers are doing right now is studying these creatures to see if we can replicate what they do. If we were able to take some of the tardigrades' abilities and place them in a human, it would make us much more superior. At the moment, the human body is not great at handling harsh conditions. In fact, for humans to survive in an environment, everything has to be exactly right. It's been estimated that tardigrades have been around for over 500 million years, meaning they outlive the dinosaurs. Recently, scientists were taking samples from a subglacial lake in the Antarctic. After getting the samples tested, they made an unexpected discovery. The team had discovered tardigrades, with them saying they've never been found in this location, and it's still a mystery as to how they ended up there. Regardless, it shows us just how resilient these incredible creatures are. So what do you make of these interesting discoveries? And do you think there's life on Saturn's moon Enceladus? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more videos.